South Salt Lake City, bordered by 700 East, 3900 South, 1100 West, and 2100 South, is an engine for growth because of its mix of businesses. Proportionately, South Salt Lake has more industries than does the entire state of Utah. And it's a hard-working city. It's filled with food service, wholesale, transportation, manufacturing, construction, and retail businesses. And South Salt Lake also has a very rich and diverse resident population. In 2010, almost 24,000 people lived in South Salt Lake, and that number is growing. Residents want good quality goods and services for them and their families, and they can find them here. South Salt Lake resale stores, its pawn shops, its consignment, thrift, antique, and second-hand stores, and its flea markets and swap meets all help the folks of South Salt Lake find what they're looking for to stretch their dollar with high-quality items at low prices. Last year, national resale shopping grew almost 13 percent to nearly eight billion dollars. And TV shows like Storage Wars, Pawn Stars, American Pickers, and the Antique Road Show have made looking for bargains popular. That along with the current economy, has helped South Salt Lake's pawn shops, thrift stores, consignment stores, antique shops, swap meets, flea markets, and more, pump tens of millions of dollars back into the local economy. Your dollars spent at those resale stores helped support roads, services, and much more. Well, I think given uh, the state of affairs of our economy and the fact that people are struggling to do a lot more with a lot less. This affords them an opportunity to know what's right here in their backyard, the things that they could purchase that they may not even know exist or are available from reputable, hard-working individuals like they have, but like they are, and that there, there are people that they can actually go to to find some great deals here right here in, in South Salt Lake. You don't have to travel very far, and these are folks that are willing and, and, and able to help stretch your dollars and make them go a lot further. Well from an environmental standpoint it's m important because we live on a finite planet with only so many resources and I think it's good for the environment to recycle things that we already have rather than just increase the manufacturing and the using of um, finite resources. So from an environmental standpoint it's good. From an economical standpoint it's good because secondhand things are less expensive and with today's you know recession Oh, yeah. uh, your money goes further when you buy things that are secondhand because you're going to get a lot better quality for less money. Also, if you buy vintage items, especially furniture, things that were made 50, 60, 70 years ago are a better quality. So if you buy a wooden chair that was made in the 50s, you say you spend $40 on it, you're going to get a nice solid wooden chair that was well made. You're not going to go to Ikea and spend the same amount and get a crummy glued together particle board <laughs> chair. So you're going to get better quality better made goods. Um, so, you know, it's a win-win situation. The company um, it is good for the for our society here in South Salt Lake because I do uh, do quality work and, and I, I most of my clientele are the middle class people and I feel that my work is, uh, is good and I cover all my stuff with uh, lifetime labor, meaning I trust in what I, what I, what I, what I sell and I that you you know it's 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 good product. I wouldn't throw a good product if I don't. I throw a lifetime labor on that. So if I feel that I'm throwing garbage out there, it wouldn't be anything for to sell. I mean, I would be make it more work for me in the future. And that's what I strive for. I I, I strive for community uh, customer service and quality work. And that's what that's what I'm here. That's what my dad taught me when he first started the business. And I want to continue that service with the community I'm in. Our benefit to our customer base is what we've got basically 85 to 90 small businesses inside the swap meet. They're all independently owned. Um, we contribute to the tax base of the community and we're offering business owners that want to start their own businesses the cheapest possible way to start a business and still get exposure and traffic. I've got vendors here that have one space which is a hundred square feet I've got vendors here that have 20 spaces that are 2,000 square feet they all shop probably at the same places that the big store shop they all go to the coast I have vendors that shop in LA New York 
Peru, all over South America actually, and they bring their products here, but they don't have the overhead that the big stores do. You're getting a lot of the same merchandise, you're getting a lot of merchandise that's actually different that you will see in the, in the mall stores. Um, same quality, but the prices are, are better. And what's kind of fun about here, whether you like it or not, if you don't like the price that's on the pair of pants or a pair of shoes or whatever, it's normal in most cultures to negotiate price. In America, we're the only ones that go to a store and, okay, these pants are 70 bucks, here's your 70 bucks. That's not the way it works in most of the world. These pants are 70 bucks. How about I give you 50? No, we want 60. How about 50? <laughs> It's, it makes it more interesting, but you are getting, the customer can get name brand, really good merchandise for better prices. And you're supporting 50 families that are making li their living inside the swap meet here. And it's, it's fun. It's an interesting deal. Events such as these create a great opportunity for the public to learn about the different services and products that are offered through the secondhand dealers in our valley. Uh, there's a, a huge perception that the, these are not used by the community as a whole, which in reality they're used by all, from folks that are on the high income scale right down to the low income scale and all walks of life in between. This really is a benefit to all those who use it, who participate and, and, and participate as guests. So, the next time you're looking for unique, high quality items at a low price, consider a local resale store. It's a good deal for you, it's a good deal for them, and it's a good deal for all of us here in South Salt Lake. Thanks.